Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Good. Um, have you done a podcast interview before? I haven't actually. I've done one and it was a good few years ago. So I don't know how good I'm going to be at this. What was it for? Do you remember? It was uh, in a comedy club and it was with a comedian in front of like a massive audience. <gasps> so like a live I died. One. I actually died. And you know, like <laughs> trying to think of comebacks. So I thought he's definitely not mugging me off on this stage. Um, it was a lot more pressure than this. This is relaxing. Yeah. Sweet. Do you like I it? I love it. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So to start things off, we're going to play a little game. You right. will have definitely heard of this game. Okay. Snog, marry, avoid. Right, okay. Yeah? Yeah. You familiar with it? Yeah. Okay, great stuff. Right. Diags, Arge or Pete? Okay. Snog, marry or avoid? Avoid yeah. Arge. Okay. Straight, Straight away. Straight away. Yeah, he's definitely not my cup of tea at okay. all. Um, Diags and Pete are my faves. I ah. love him so much. They're, I love them and they're so different. Diags is actually hilarious. Yeah. So I think I'd have to marry him because I think I'd laugh for the rest of my life. You get entertainment forever then. Yeah, yeah. and then I'd snog Pete, I guess. Hey. He's handsome. <laughs> yeah, I mean. he is very handsome. <laughs> okay, options number two. Anthony Joshua, Bradley Cooper or Tom Hardy? Ooh. It's a good right choice. Then. Um, what was the first one? Anthony, Anthony Joshua, Joshua. Tom Hardy, and who was the other one? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll marry Auntie Joshua because he's so tall. And that means I'd have really tall children. Okay, and which I'd is the petite. most important thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I would snog Tom Hardy, handsome. Yeah. And then avoid Bradley Cooper, which is really sad because I really liked him in that film. I Star really cried born. when he died. I cried all the way home. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I thought I see him in LA, but it weren't him. Oh, it wasn't. Did you go I over to him? I see him Did you go over to him? Say, no, but there was this guy walking around the pool and it was his double, I'm telling you. Was it? I kept going to my mate, is that him? And he's like, no, stop it. I was like, I'm sure it's him. <laughs> you should have had a photo just in case. I know, but celebs look different in real life. It could have been him. Yeah, could have been. Your friend was probably wrong. I'll never know now. <laughs> <laughs> Options three. Louis Capaldi, Kano and Harry Styles. Yeah. I mean, these are not my three fave picks, not gonna lie. No. I wouldn't run down the aisle with any of them. No disrespect, I'm sure they probably wouldn't with me either, but. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, well, Lewis Capaldi rings a bell. Yeah. What song does he sing? I'm bad with I'm names and under, things. I don't, I still, I don't know which one that is, but look. We had lighters out in the studio then. I Everyone think, was well impressed. I think I'll marry the singer because I haven't been serenaded. Wait a minute, there's two singers. Oh. <laughs> no, he's a rapper, Kano, ain't he? Harry Styles. Oh shit, sorry, yeah. Harry Styles isn't in the game. He's about, how old is he, 10? You know I'm nearly 40. Hey. He's too young for me, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I'm not going he out of young guys. Women. No or more, I'm done with young men. Okay. I'm done. So um, Harry Styles avoid? Let me help you through this. Harry Styles avoid. Avoid, yeah. Yeah. And then, so we've got Kano. Yeah. And Louis Capaldi. Louis Capaldi sings. Is he I'm, handsome? Oh, he's beautiful. All right, I'll marry him. I'll take it. Yeah. There we go. And so, then I've got a snog Kano. Yeah. I probably wouldn't, but I'm just gonna say it to play the game. Yeah. Okay. That was tough. That I was feel. really. I'm really hot and bothered now. <laughs> You're not me out. I'm gonna throw myself in the balls in a minute. <laughs> yeah. You joined Towie in season two, 2011, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like that long? Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. It's gone quick, but when I remember back to when I first joined, obviously yeah. that seems like a lifetime ago. And it actually was, it's almost a decade ago. It's a completely different person. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but that said, it has flown. Yeah, it, it feels, actually has. It feels like a British institution, Towie. Like internationally, people know about Towie. Yeah, they do actually. They do. It is very international. <laughs> Do you get that when you go over well, other countries? Well, I've been on like, not, not so much these days, but like uh, in the early days, yeah. I'd get really like shocked when people with different accents recognised me, you know, like Australians. I'd be like, whoa, <laughs> what, what do you mean you know me? You know, like it was weird because I didn't realise that they followed Towie. Yeah. And um, we've got some American fans. Wow. When I was mental. in America, a few people recognised me. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. How did you get approached to go on the show? Um, I didn't get approached. A friend of mine was kind of in that industry. Well, like she, TV? She was actually a PA for Simon Webb. 
Oh, okay. And um, he's a friend of mine, Simon. Okay. And uh, she was like, oh, I've heard they're making a show. It's going to be like The Hills. And yeah. at the time, I was obsessed with The Hills. It was my most favorite show. Yeah. So she was like, you should totally do it. And bear in mind, 10 years ago, I was completely mental. I was a blonde bob. I was mad. So she was like, you'd be so funny on it. And I was like, no, no, no. You know, like I just wasn't feeling it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she bullied me in my kitchen to ring the number that she had for him. And I remember ringing him. And you know, and you like that phone call. You're like, you just don't know what to say. Yeah. And like, you're just all awkward about it. Yeah. And um, I met up with um, the execs at the time and it was, they didn't even have a channel at that point. It wasn't, it, they had no channel. It was just an idea. Oh, wow. So no, no one on board really. Just no, no it was just an idea. Wow. So they said to me at the time, keep a blog of your life and send it over to us. And then a few months later, they got in touch and said they had a channel and um, they was really interested in me joining and all of that. And by then I'd got a job that I was actually really enjoying. So that's why I wasn't in the first series. I actually walked You've away. You off. Yeah, I did because <laughs> I was really nervous. At the time, there wasn't that much reality to go off of. You know, yeah. like Big Brother, people come out of there hated. Yeah. And like, I okay, felt like fair. I could go one way or the other. And I was a mom to like, a young child. And I was thinking at the time, I, like, I'm already quite loose tongue now, but back then I felt like I could have ruined my life yeah. maybe. I'd seen it happen to other people. So I shied away from it and didn't do it. Series two come along, they contacted me. And by then I'd seen how well the original cast were doing. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. But I did shit myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was like, oh, oh. When I got there and I had to like walk in the cameras and I'd just never seen anything like it before. I mean, I was dying. I was shaking. And I just, I don't even know how I got through it. The yeah. first series, I really found it hard being in front of cameras and like, trying to be natural. It was just really uncomfortable and out of my comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. So what's a typical like filming day for you? Well, back then, oh my God, it was so different. It was basically like 13 hour days. Wow, like, so intense. Yeah, it was a lot of waiting around and um, we were, we wasn't treated badly, but the hours were really long and it was a lot more brutal when you yeah. first joined. Whereas now there's so many different things in place and we have call times. So we're only there for a few hours. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, they were just starting off, weren't they? So like we were all like new to it at the time. Rumours go round. Yeah. They do. Yeah. And one of the rumours is, is that it's slightly scripted. I just get asked that all the time. Yeah. And I, I just know, think- Do you know what? I've just thought it doesn't a matter anyway. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, but personally, if you gave me a script to remember and you said, I'm going to give you a million pound if you remember this whole script, I probably couldn't do it. You just couldn't remember three names, both. Exactly. So I, think... I mean, <laughs> I mean, it'd be better if it was scripted because then when I do something wrong, I could go, it's in the script. What yeah, do you it's mean? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, it's not. I, the, the, the bits that are set up are the locations and obviously who's there. Right, so okay. for example, it's our ideas a lot of the time for the parties or the events, there'll be our ideas. We'll just put them forward. We speak really closely to producers on a weekly basis mm -hmm. and we tell them all the things that we're up to and they'll pick and choose what they want to cover. So yeah. for example, your birthday or if you're like launching something um, and then we get call time. So we'll have to go to a location. They don't tell us who's going to be there. Obviously, our friendship groups all text each other and figure yeah. out who we're filming with, especially if you're falling out with someone. You just don't know when it's <gasps> oh, going to happen. You're just waiting for this confrontation. So, I mean, yeah, and it's definitely not scripted, but we are given subjects. So if we go to a cafe and I just wanted to talk about, I don't know, boohoo, yeah. they'd be like, no, you're talking about this, this and this, because yeah. it's got a the story's got a flow. To not talk about boohoo. Yeah, but you know what I mean? I can't just go in there and go, <laughs> fucking traffic shit, innit? Yeah, like they, yeah. <laughs> I've got to follow the story, but yeah, there's okay, definitely okay, no yeah. scripts, I promise. Yeah. Um, so we're sort of like gripped with Towie. Like, why do you think it's got such an appeal? Why do you think people like sit down every time it's on and like watch it or binge watch it? Like my friends yeah. binge watch old series of it. What do you think the appeal is? I don't know. Like for me with TV shows, I love something that continues. Like I yeah. love it when you can get into it and then you want to see what happens next. I, lo I watch loads of box sets and loads of American reality TV shows and like I love hills. it. Yeah, like yeah. the hills when you can just watch one after another. Uh -huh. So, I mean, maybe they're, they're like that. I think because it has been around a long time, they've watched a lot of us grow up and change and maybe they're... I don't know, committed to us. I don't know. They want to see what happens. I actually don't know, to yeah. be honest. They are committed though. 
definitely committed. They're invested. Yeah, they are. In our lives. And they're proper fans. <laughs> yeah. Like proper fans of the show and of you yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. We get a lot of, I mean, we've got diehard fans, but then we've also got a lot of people that I think it's the, their guilty pleasure. Yeah. And like, they, they'll pretend they don't feel. really like it, but they still watch it. I get a lot of that. Yeah. You know, like, oh, my wife loves it. Can I get a photo? And I yeah, think you definitely yeah, watch it. Definitely then watch they'll it. come out with something like, it was mad when that happened last week. And I think, I thought you didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah. It's just not in the background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was one of the hardest scenes to film? Um, I don't know. Like when me and Pete fell out, it wasn't nice because yeah. we're really close friends and we really fell out and we didn't speak for a long time. And he apologized and it was like a really emotional scene and it used to be really awkward when we were at filming together because we used to completely blank each other. Oh, so God. that was quite difficult, but I've had quite a few moments like that. Um, I fell out with quite a few people. <laughs> Thinking back, <laughs> I fell out with quite a few people. I mean, yeah, we're falling out with someone and then having to sit at a table with them is awkward yeah, for true, anyone, yeah. especially yeah, when especially there's cameras. cameras yeah. And then I've got to have everyone's opinions after. <laughs> so, I mean, it's awkward. Yeah, it is. Do you think the show's changed people? Like, have you seen people change the way they are? Because obviously, like, you get catapulted into fame, don't you, really? You do. But I think with Tawi, it's a slightly more... I was saying, saying this the other day to someone, I think it was yesterday, whereas some reality TV shows, they go from unknown to, like, one direction known in this country and yeah. around the world. So yeah. I think with Tawi, it's kind of like you join it goes up a little bit and then it kind of just stays Settles quite level. Yeah. Whereas it's not got that high and low yeah. and then you're out the door. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It hasn't There's not like me. as much of a shelf life, is there? Yeah, I feel as like much. it's more, it's a bit more chilled vibes. Yeah. So if you, if I was going to recommend a reality show, I would recommend one like Towie or yeah. where it's continuing like that if you want to mm -hmm. do reality because these big ones, they make you a massive star for a year, maybe a year and a half, and then it gets taken away. And I can Which imagine that must be, must be so difficult. really hard. So yeah. um, I don't really think anyone's really changed. I think when new cast join, they can act a certain way, but I can't work out whether that's just the new generation or if it is the being put on a TV show. I don't know because I'm from a different de generation to most yeah. people that join TOWIE now. Like some of them are 18. Yeah, wow. Well. It's like when I was 18, I was completely different to that. So not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I do feel like a lot of the newer cast are very entitled. They're very comfortable straight away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was brought up from a really young age to respect elders and mm -hmm. like, you wouldn't walk into a bank and go up to like the top, top bank manager, go, are you all right? Or like start demanding the same as what yeah, they've got. No, Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's so a I good think way of putting it, that yeah. kind of vibe, sometimes them lines get a little bit blurred. But other than that, I don't think they change dramatically. I think I think they learn quite quickly who's the boss. Yeah, hey, there she is. He's <laughs> the boss for you. <laughs> Would you let your daughter be on the show? Um, Madison's had a few little sightings. Yeah. The thing is, when I joined, she was five. Mm -hmm. um, she's 14 now, and I just think teenage years are hard enough without trolling, people judging you, saying like people freely are allowed to tell each other what they don't like about each other when Which I only asked, insane. no yeah. one asked you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's a bit like, would I want to put the most precious thing in my life in front of people that aren't that kind? Do you know what I mean? And, it, and that's an I've obvious got a big answer. I've fear about that. So My eyes. if she wants to do it when she's older, that's a completely different thing. But me making that choice for her, I don't think it's fair. She, uh -huh. if she wants, she's been at filming a lot. You just don't see her. She's normally in Marbella with us. She's probably been on the majority bar two of every trip to Marbella. So she's there with me. You just don't see yeah. her. Um, and I think that's, for me, I think that was the right decision to mm -hmm. not sell my child's soul to TV and deals about being a mom. Like yeah. no disrespect to people that do do that. But I just, one bad comment about my daughter and the gloves come off. And yeah. I just don't need to be in that situation because you know, I want to keep my job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's one thing saying it about you. But yeah, then, it's hard enough for me to yeah. take it, but to say it about the most precious yeah. thing in my life, like I'm really protective over my family, but that's my daughter. And there are scumbags out there that do make comments like that. Yeah, I've are. even withdrawn from really putting her on social media because there's always somebody who's got something to say. And I just don't know how with 
how are we here where it's okay to not only speak to each other like that, but to actually speak about someone's child? Yeah. Like, I just, I just think it's really disgusting and it's something I feel really strongly about. Um, so yeah, Maddie, I've got to try and protect her from all of this madness that we're living in at the moment. What's the weirdest campaign you've been asked to do? Um, I don't know about campaign, but the weirdest job that I've ever done was, it was for a pilot and I had to go to a farm, go in a massive barn, and they had one armchair in the middle of about 40 cows, actual big cows. And I had to sit on the chair and talk to the cow. And I can't remember what the point of it all was, but there was loads of them. There was loads. And like when one finishes, Just you? Well, there was a film crew, but it was only little well, yeah, one. yeah, but just you and the cows. Just me and the cow, to straight face talk to her. And then um, like all the other cows were like, when one moves a bit funny, they all start. And I was thinking, sod this, mate, I'm gonna get trampled. Yeah. And um, it was a good face. I thought, I'd just sit oh, out. Babe. <laughs> it was, an, I swear to God, it was an armchair in a barn full of cows what did to you, talk to the cow. What did you say to the cow? I can't remember, it was years ago, but I just remember thinking, what the hell is this? I yeah. don't even know what I'm doing here. But. <laughs> Nothing bad happens. I'm still here. I made it. That's it. You made it. <laughs> yeah. um, what was your first job? Oh ever. my God. What, in life? Yeah. Um, oh, my first ever job was when I was 15 and I got a job in a card shop. It weren't Clinton's. It weren't a nice posh one. Yeah. It was a little old one in the like, in the town where I lived. And it was two old women. I mean, they're probably not alive anymore. God bless them. So I can dig them out a little bit. They were mean to me. Right they there. was like, they was like two grumpy old ladies and they got me right at it all day. They didn't do nothing. <laughs> they like literally, I had to dust everything up the ladder. They're getting me at it, running errands. And then one day they was like, can you just go upstairs and sort through the cards and find ones that we might be able to sell? And when I say these cards were old, they were vintage. Like they were like, no, not just dusty, but like, I mean, old fashioned from like yeah. the seventies. Oh my God. And I had to pick out of hundreds <sighs> of cards, what ones we might still be able to sell like in the nineties or whatever it was. <laughs> but that was my first job. I got 15 pounds a day. Oh no, not for all that labor. Yeah, it was right hard work. When I went in, there was two old ladies. I thought, oh cute. They're gonna yeah, be like gonna nans be nice. and they're gonna be yeah. really nice to me. We're like gonna be cozy you. and like cups of tea. It yeah. weren't like that. <laughs> <laughs> well now, I mean, looking at your Instagram, it's pretty flawless. So you've Thank come, you. Yeah, you've come quite, quite away from looking at cards. Dusty with two, cards. Yeah, dusty cards with two old women. <laughs> um, do you feel like a pressure to be always Instagram ready? Um, I don't feel a pressure to be like that because if you see me on a school run, you probably wouldn't recognise me. Like you genuinely wouldn't. Talk I look like saying kind of shameless. Well, it's either pajamas that don't even match, or normally a mismatched tracksuit, hair scruffed up, no makeup. Like, honestly, you probably would not recognize me in the morning, but I just think the morning times for Maddie, it's all about her, get her neat and ready and immaculate, make sure she's fed and watered, pack lunch is fresh, battle through the traffic. <laughs> I haven't got time for the glam. And then I go home and then I'm like, oh, tidy up and yeah. then I get myself together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was it like doing Subs Go Dating with your sister? Steps Go Dating is the most fun show ever. I highly is it? recommend it. It looks fun. It's so fun. And I got to do it twice, you know. Like, I've loved it. I've loved both times. Yeah. I come in with Demi and it was really fun. Um, and then the time before that, I'd done it with my best friend, Vass. So I've had oh, two yeah. really good experiences yeah. on there. Really enjoyed it. I didn't find love, but the dating part of it, the mixers and then the other celebs like you have to go on holiday together it's just so fun it looks awkward the mixers it is is it or is it's it it's so awkward i feel like you like an awkward moment i don't I that feel like the you first do. mixer i done honestly <laughs> i was shaking it was in cafe de paris yeah how big is it have you been in there yeah it's massive you got the top bit and the bottom bit yeah. it was like packed with film crew at the top and then as you went down the stairs to the dance floor, that's where all the day teas were. Wow. And like, you're walking on your intense. own. On the show, they make it look like you're all in there together. You're not. You do it by yourself. So you go down every step when the whole room's looking at you. And like, I just got really awkward. And like, I started going, hello. And just putting my hand oh! out. People like an interview. Yeah. <laughs> like backing away from oh me. Oh my God. But that, yeah, that's really, I don't think you'll ever get used to 
going into that situation by yourself and approaching people. Yeah. And then you've got the girls and the boys in there. So it's not even just the men, like the girls are all looking at you. It's just weird yeah, and like awkward. Maybe a bit judgy. That was a bit awkward, but it was still yeah. fun. I lo- I still really enjoyed the experience. It was brilliant. Yeah, you love like a reality show, don't you? Yeah, I just want to be full time on Sleb's Go Dating. Do you? I think I should just be like, because I'm still single, so I might as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I should be like, what's Put the word? The resident. The I'll resident, be the resident one it, yeah. on there. <laughs> I went on a date with a yeah. French guy. He's what he's proper French, yeah. right? Like real French. Like French French. Yeah. And I worked in France on and off for a year. So like I, I fancied my chances. Can you speak French? <laughs> I can swear in French. Can you? Yeah. And I can say a lot of words. But at the time I could understand it when I was going back and forth a yeah. lot more, more to see if they were talking about me. But um, anyway, so I goes on a date with him and he basically said, I can't understand you, which is really weird because when I'm in America, I can understand their English, but I can't understand you at all. And I thought, cheeky sod, I'm the one that should be struggling to understand you with that strong accent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you need to tone that accent down. Apparently I've been told that Essex is the hardest accent in the UK for other people to understand which I find really hard to believe because I can't understand Scottish people very very often. <laughs> um, Welsh sometimes don't know, don't know what they're saying. So, I mean, I think that's a little bit of a lie, but- A little bit of a lie. I think so. It's all right. I can understand you. I think it's because we use a lot of slang though and yeah, we don't pronounce things properly. Joe you weren't doing that on language. your date, were you? What? All the slang. Probably. See, there you go, babe. I don't know I'm doing it. It's no. natural. Right, I need... don't sit there and think, I'm like, what slang words shall I yeah, say today? Time. It just comes out. Right, okay. Next time you need to really think about it. Hello. I'll come and translate I'm Chloe. for you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? We're going to talk about Chloe's beauty bar. Yeah. Big part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like having your own salon? It's like a lot of girls dream, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't my childhood dream, but I am obsessed with anything beauty related and I love makeup. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to LA with Lauren Pope, actually. It was my first time and she took me to a dry bar. And probably that's a big thing now, but this was like maybe eight years ago, seven years ago, and I'd never seen it before. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. It had a menu for hair and I just like, at the time, like I hadn't baffling. seen that. Yeah. It was only like five styles on there and just, it had a big bar and it was exactly what it was, a dry yeah. bar. So I was like, I think that would be so good in Essex. So I decided to do a beauty bar. And originally we was gonna do the big bar thing, but uh-huh. we ended up doing it at the back. And yeah, I mean, it lasted for five years and it was at the time so exciting. Obviously we filmed loads in it mm-hmm. and loads and loads of people come to visit it. It was amazing. But being a mum and my business partner, who was also called Chloe, that's why we called it Chloe's, um, she was a mum as well. And having to film and do all of the work that I do outside of that, I just couldn't be there. So I was was there less and less and less. And with a business, all business owners would know that unless you're there, it's gonna fall apart. It's just one of them things and neither of the owners were there. So we kept getting managers that would come in and like sell us a dream and they were gonna take on this and there's gonna do this. But and it's I, yours as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and another thing, when I opened it, I didn't realize how long Towie was gonna to last. Uh-huh. So it was kind of almost like a backup plan mm-hmm. because it was somewhere where I would have liked to have worked. Cause I used to think if Towie finishes, it'll be fine because I'll take the beauty bar on full time and I'll make it work. But I never got to that point. And obviously I'm happy cause I'd rather still be doing what I'm doing yeah, than absolutely. that, it's just, I didn't have the time to be there. So the lease was up. There was loads of speculation of why we closed it down, but it was just that the lease was up. We didn't want to take it on for another five years. We both never had a salon before either. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So we just walked in blind. Okay, well, Well, are you beauty trained? No. 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 I'm not at all. (laughs) No. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was a good experience. Everyone that come there, I think they enjoyed it. Yeah. So yeah, it was that's it, that's just what it was. Business isn't for me really. Yeah. Decided. So, but it didn't come naturally to you, the business side of things. No. No. And I tell you, what else don't come naturally to me? Working on Saturdays and Sundays anymore. Okay, I weren't no. about that yeah. life. I didn't want to be or there. Getting up before eleven, I bet you had to for the. I do get up before eleven because I got to do the school run, but I get up at seven ten to do the school run. I don't work before eleven. Right. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. 
So don't try and book me for 11 because I won't. Okay. <laughs> I know now. I've got a Zimmy Glam. I've got to get yeah, Maddie's school. I get it. home at 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Before I get to location. Do you know what I mean? When you had the beauty bar, did you enjoy being the bus? No. No. I actually didn't. I bet you didn't. I can I imagine. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I can imagine. I just didn't like coming in and you know like that feeling like you're an outsider yeah because like, they're all mates do you know what i mean yeah. and like i come in and things like little things like the toilet wouldn't be clean or the floors weren't clean and it was white the whole shop was yeah. white it's common sense and you're the bad guy then aren't you yes yeah, so then you've got to say to why say. aren't you clean and the, yeah. the face is like you've scolded them and like, <laughs> i just think you should have seen them two grannies from the card shop because if you think i'm bad <laughs> yeah. you should have worked with them too because like, they weren't messing about with the dust yeah do you know what i mean and all i'm saying is a there's a few footprints here clean it up yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, and also my delivery is not the best. I do try to be, I try to say it in more of a softer way, but I am quite blunt. I can't really get away with that. So, I don't know. I didn't enjoy it. And you're doing what you enjoy now? I am, yeah. So that's all that matters. True. So, just to finish things off, in this beautiful purple pool. We're gonna play a little game. You will have definitely played this game as well. It's called Never Have I Ever. You played it? Yeah, I'm a bit scared now though. No, it's PG. Oh it's okay. good, yeah. perfect. They're not like the ones that you play <laughs> when say. you're having a drink, yeah? <laughs> um, we've got a pot of sweets in front of us. If you have done what I'm gonna say, Never Have I Ever, you've got a wheat of sweet. Okay. Not as exciting as like a shot of vodka, but you know, it's PG. All right then. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, never have I ever flirted with a barman to get free drinks. What do you do when you ain't done it? Nothing. Just well, you sit don't there. get. You don't even get a sweet or nothing. No. Oh no, I ain't. I don't go to the bar. Oh, is she is? Why? <laughs> I'm too bougie for the oh, bar, babe. Oh, darling. I sit at tables. You sit at tables. The yeah. bar comes to you. They. It does yeah. a lot. Okay. Never have I ever kissed someone from the tarry cast that the public didn't know about. <gasps> Ooh, how many can I eat? Nah. I'm allowed to eat if I've done that, ain't I? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make my food for you Oh my life, if you can see this, Chloe Sims has got a um, mouthful of marshmallow. Mm, this is really good. Who are they? I can't tell you that. You can't? It's gonna be so silly. Oh, okay. So was that two? Or was that one? Oh, it's been a lot, it's been a long time. Have you got enough show. fingers and toes? I think there's only, one person, I've, sorry, I'm, I'm eating this, speaking my mouth open. Okay, I'm not babe. just letting this towie down here. <laughs> Only one. Only one. Okay. Yeah. Never have I ever sent a conversation screen grab to the wrong person. No, I haven't, but it's one of my biggest fears. Um, I have. <laughs> oh my God, it's the worst thing ever. The panic. So what, did you get in trouble? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so bad. You're gonna make me really scared of this now. Mm -hmm. The only time there's been a moment that I've been involved with that was similar to that, but it wasn't yeah. me, was I was with somebody, we were talking about somebody, and my friend accidentally sent a voice note uh. of us to the person. So, and I just remember her face uh. when she realized, we was actually in my salon. She was like, oh my God, I've sent it to her. And then the girl replied and was like, you didn't mean to send this to me, did you? But <gasps> it went, yeah. But you just got to own it in that moment and go, yeah, do you know what, it's an accident I was talking about you, so what are you going to do? Nothing. Yeah. Is that what they did? Is that what your friend did? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I loved it though, because it wasn't on my phone. Yeah, you, know you were I mean? just there like, listening. You were there yeah. listening. <laughs> um, never have I ever pretended to like a present. Oh my God, I did it all the time. I've got to mm -hmm. eat more sweets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it all the time. We're do gonna have, my um... friends know me at all? My <laughs> sister, my sister, took me for an outside birthday tree. I hate being outside. Yeah, I feel like even spending half an hour with, with you, I would never buy you A outside. freezing cold outside, was that, it was like a bus, which was a calf, but we was outside the bus. I don't even like buses. I was like, this is the worst also, thing. Also, Chloe Sims doesn't sit in calves. And you know what Pete got as well? This was right sent me over the edge. You know, me and Pete are best mates. Yeah. He got me and Lockie mm -hmm. the same key ring each when it's like hearts and best mates, you can't get, we're not the same level of best mates. Yeah, no, I threw you... it. <gasps> yeah. You threw I didn't it. even pretend to like that one. I just thought I'm not having this. So you news. opened it. I went, Sorry, Pete. Throw. Threw it. But normally I do pretend to like the presents and then I just take them back. <laughs> you just take them back? <laughs> I take them wow. back unless they're from a sentimental person. Like, for example, my dad's so cute. 
And for Christmas last year, he bought me a pair of sunglasses <laughs> for Christmas. Sure, I yeah. found that really wrong hilarious. Season, Is that wrong season, yeah. <clears throat> but they weren't really my style. And he goes, listen, like, if you don't like them, because they're a right personal thing, aren't they, sunglasses? Yeah. You wear them yeah, on your face. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he goes, if you don't like them, take them back. But I thought, no, it's my dad. I'm going to wear them. They're my driving glasses. Uh, they were Gucci. Nice. Like, he was, like, being bougie with it. Yeah. But they weren't my thing, but if my dad gives me something, it's sentimental. Yeah. But if it's just any old body, I just yeah. take it back. Like your best mate, Pete. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. not very good at presents. <laughs> we'll just throw his presents. <laughs> Free it across the room. Last one. Never have I ever had a diva strop on my birthday. Oh, I don't know. It's been a lot of them. On your birthday? No, a lot of birthdays. Oh, a lot 38 of 38 to think about. <laughs> yeah, wow. Have you I had a diva strop on my birthday? I mean, I have diva strops now and again, so. Never. I had three meltdowns yesterday. So if you're asking me to remember that far back, well, I can't. I might have done. I didn't this birthday, because okay. I had the best birthday ever. Um, and I can't remember last birthday, I don't know. I can't remember, I'm getting, <laughs> you're getting like, so the birthdays are so many now, I can't remember. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. It's been an, it's been a right laugh. Thanks for having yeah. me. I've really enjoyed it. And I've learned a lot about Essex. Have you? Yeah. I've only been there once. I've got one question for you before I go. Go on. Is my tongue as blue as yours? Because <laughs> your tongue is so blue, I can't stop looking at it. But wait, go not You need. I don't want to get it out. It's ugly. And you've got like a stripe. A stripe just, of oh, blue. That's good. That's is mine like fully blue? Yours is so blue. Yeah. <laughs> fully blue. It's really blue. Oh, thanks. That's your fault. Making me play that game. I've had so much fun. I love the sweets. Yeah. It's been really good. I've enjoyed playing back. games. I will. Anytime. Good. And to all of our listeners, please don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcast or Spotify and join us here next week where we'll be with another amazing guest just like Chloe Sims. Thank you. Speaking.